Welcome to the review today on Oweleke TV. I am Messi Baba today. And of course, you know how we do it on the review. We'll be talking about uh, major things happening, of course, in the media society, especially in Nigeria. For today, we'll be talking about the presidential fleet. And of course, discussing this with me is none other than Mr. Christopher. Good day. How are you? Good to see you, Messi. Good to see you too. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> it's safe to ask, how are you right now, given the current economy of Nigeria? And of course, um... <laughs> if you want to get an answer, I will give you the answer. <laughs> I, of course, I know you know the answer. All right. Before we get deep into that, let's uh, get into today's topic proper. We'll be talking about the presidential fleets. And um, let me give you a backstory. We have over 10 uh, presidential fleets in Nigeria right now. And one would wonder if you actually know about private jets or aircraft, you would know how much it takes to maintain most of these aircraft. No, let me put it down in a, a layman language. Say you have 10 cars. How do you maintain those 10 cars given the current economic crisis we have in Nigeria right now? Today, we'll be reviewing most of these things. And it might beg, um, we, or let me say, it might surprise you that we have fleets that even Elon Musk himself has. And that's talking about one of the richest men in the world right now. Begs the question, how rich is Nigeria? That will be my first question for Mr. Chris today. <laughs> how rich is Nigeria? Nigeria is rich with uh, human resources. Nigeria is rich with uh natural resources mm -hmm. nigeria is rich with uh uh educational uh, managers and what what have what have you bought nigeria is not rich when it comes to prudence mm -hmm. nigeria is not rich when it comes to uh what's it called uh admis administration okay. yeah yes we may have human resources but are those good ones in government that brings the question to if truly we are rich. Uh, we, I think for now, managerially, Nigeria mm -hmm. is not rich. Okay. Administratively, Nigeria is not, is not rich. It's and not then rich. in government too, of course, our politicians have made it so obvious that even though, yes, we may have the money, but Nigeria, of course, is still poor. Okay, now let's get into it proper. Talking about uh, Nigeria selling some of its fleets, uh, in some of my findings, I realized that we have the Gulfstream G550. And talk about Gulfstream G550 it costs millions of dollars to own one, not just own one. Now, let's talk about the maintenance itself. Do you think the approach of selling three, because we have 10 right now, and they've said they want to reduce it to uh, seven, do you think the sale of this aircraft would actually improve? Because I'm going to say most of the money that we've said we've recovered, even from those that looted the money, how did it affect an average Nigeria? Now, they've said the cost of administration is high. Somewhere I read, and it was actually funny about um, how President Tunubu said, oh, most of this fleet should be put out for governors to be able to fly with them, and of course, the elites in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And then a few weeks after, the same presidency issued, um, of course, a memo saying that um, no... Um, the, the government would not be funding any foreign um, travel and expenses anymore. Yeah. Now, we beg the question. We've, have, you've answered the how rich is Nigeria. Because talking about fleets now, we have 10. Mm. The cost to maintain that 10 alone would actually feed millions of Nigerians. It's actually $80, uh, $80 million, million per annum. Per annum. Yes, to maintain to 10 maintain of them. Ten of them. Yes. Now, if that 80... Let's not even get into that because it's going to. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Do you actually think uh, selling three out of that ten would it actually improve the cost of um, administering or the cost of administration right now in Nigeria? Do you think it's one step forward? Do you think it would? It, because I feel like anything that happens at the upper Italian would not even get to the layman in Nigeria. Well, I first of all, I must commend the president for taking this bold initiative by uh, planning to sell three out of the ten. But I wish they sell five instead of three. And I also wish that, you know, even apart from maintaining the, the, the aircraft, you, you understand with me that flying it from Nigeria to any part of the world, you have parking space, you have to pay for that. You also have, of course, to pay of course, uh, the attendance in the aircraft, aircraft. you have to also pay, pay for security, parking space, the anger and, and, and all, all of that. that yeah. And 
Remember when Buhari was the president and he traveled out for medical tourism to, to Germany or which part of uh, UK? Remember very well that part of the argument that came up that time was that uh, Nigeria was paying every day for almost the six months he spent, he spent there. out there. So, for goodness sake, we have uh, we have people like the president himself has his own private private jet, of course. But for security reasons, you you won't uh, uh, of course you you won't allow the president to use his own private jet. But if the president has his own, and maybe say we have two more, and maybe a helicopter that he can use to travel within the country. The country yeah. Or let's say two helicopters, maybe one for pre uh, the uh, what's it called? The president the, the, and then his aides. As, as, no, maybe the vice president himself, mm -hmm. and maybe at times the senate president, to fly, for instance, from Abuja to from Lagos to UK. Now is uh, about uh, one point two million uh, naira, uh, beginning from this Monday. So, I think it it is it is not wise for us to have seven of them because the cost of maintaining them will still remain the same okay. because there is no more there is no much difference between uh, uh 10 and 7 so sell five let us have five and then you do, by that you would drastically reduce the cost of maintenance as also the people the politicians that travel out of the country because they have access to money even when they have access to money, is telling on on we, we the, 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 the the poor the poor people. So I I commend the president for this bold initiative. At the same time, I want to advise that he can he, he should do better mm -hmm. by selling at least five, four instead of okay, let's say five instead of three, and also the cost of governance by that will be reduced drastically. Okay, we can't talk about a uh, fleet in Nigeria without talking about, of course, cars. Um, I know its fleets were major in it, mm. but then a quick one on um, the number of um, entourage we have that follows governors and senators and presidents in Nigeria. You would even see a major general have it, it, like seven to ten of them before he moves governor, into... Have you, have, exactly. Governor. Have you seen when the president wants to move in Abuja, you see where they block roads and all of that. We have a number of securities all over the road. Shouldn't they extend all of this in selling their fleets? Let them reduce the number of entourage and, of course, um, people that follow them. Yeah, I, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I repeat, I said this same thing right on this same program. Okay. Uh, the president, for instance, if he wants to tr travel out to leave the seat of power, Aso Rock, to the airport, from the three uh, arm zone down to the uh, to the international airport, you will see, please. Army, uh, civil defense, uh, road, uh, road safety, down to the airport. At maybe I don't know the measurement anyway. The gap in between Limited. one post to another, and I can tell you they pay for them. This is special service. The amount they pay the army is different from what they pay pay the police. <laughs> the amount they pay the police is different from what they pay civil defense. <laughs> the amount they pay civil defense is different from what they pay. Uh, road safety, you know, and most of these people, once they know that the president is traveling, they lobby for their name to be included. included. I think pol police is about 15,000 naira. So it looks like the cost of administration is even more expensive. Yes. Than and then again, if the president has an helicopter, for instance, to use, why now station uh, uh, security agencies on the express road? Why not just use from the, uh, from Aso Rock and then land at the presidential, presidential wing, wing of the airport. Why now spend money to pass through the road? If he is going to commission, even though he's going to commission something along the road, he can also get down there with the uh, chopper and then continue af afterward. Well, I guess there are guidelines to all of these things. I would yes, I know <laughs> security-wise there are, but again, mm -hmm. we are talking about cost of governance. I think Nigeria should be a safe country where a president, governors, we have them. Some of them are doing it. For instance, the governor of Borno State works freely in his state. In the state, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, they would yeah. say... Peter, when Peter Obi was the governor of Anambra State, he drives in, himself most times. Uh, what's his name? Amechi. When Amechi was a governor too, from time to time, he drives himself. So, uh, for me, I, I, I am not expecting that the president should drive himself, drive himself, but I'm saying that we should cut down some of these Expenses. If 
presidential, the maintenance of presidential fleet, which is in the office of the National Security Advisor, Advisor yes. will cost this much. So you can imagine other costs of governance in Asurok. And uh, that is even the data analysis they brought out. We do not know if it is actually more than more that. More than that. Maybe they want, so, they want, they yes. they want to <laughs> give us a media, media figure. The media figure. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you very much, Chris, for joining us today on the program. It's been an insightful one with you. We do hope you join us some other time on the program. All right, our viewers today, this is Web Wrap It Up today for the review. And of course, we've implored to the federal government to, of course, not just do something about selling three. We think um, it should be increased, probably sell like five. And um, we do hope that this time it reflects on the layman in Nigeria. I remain messy about it. See you same time, same station tomorrow. Bye. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubaleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubaleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubaleke TV, rising star at the fairground.